everyone welcome back it is not monday it's tuesday and we are super happy to be moving along here uh, a little nervous because uh, the post office hasn't swung by or the postman hasn't swung by we have 90 orders in here um saturday's orders were delivered this is just sundays and some of today's and then we have more a couple more right here and let, let me just show you the stack of orders over here coming through guys so we have all of this stack here okay we have which is which correlates to this it's about nine thousand labels i believe uh this one over here we're almost done with so yeah we're at the very end so that got taken care of uh just on its very last job so we've been cooking along uh moving very fast we're down to our last roll of labels i should have a pallet coming here of uh, more uh, 12 inch diameter rolls uh, for labels hopefully so because I only have one roll left and then uh, I need to order some laminate I only have a, a roll and a half of laminate so that they come in like 2,500 feet I ordered uh, one that was 5,000 feet and that seemed to fit okay so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to order 5,000 feet uh, just because it makes it easy um, it's a uh, that's the low cost part of the labels but uh yeah so we've just been moving along but if you notice uh we passed something let me go ahead and shoot uh we got the label printer so this is awesome uh, i'm gonna wait to unbox this till tomorrow uh, i'm gonna show you guys an unboxing but we have the label printer uh could be the rewinder in there or the rewinder could be coming separate i also got that um uh here on this palette i'm pretty sure but uh i did request one thing from uh, Affinia and so I very politely asked and they very politely obliged so the printer that is comparable to what I have now or a printer like it is this L502 so I asked if I could review the 502 and then go ahead and ship it back at my dime so I'm gonna pay for shipping back to them but they they figured hey uh, you have this printer coming. Okay, we'll go ahead and put it on the pallet for you. Go ahead and redo. Please ship it back. I have an email uh, letting them know that, yes, I will go ahead and ship it back to them. So thank you, thank you so much for letting me go ahead and do that review. I am so looking forward to doing it. I'm super excited. And to show you guys as well, uh, what are the differences uh, between, uh, you know, the L801 uh, that I have and the L501, two totally different animals, you know, totally different but just some differences and then the Epson C6500 I think I'm gonna do kind of like a side-by-side -side comparisons uh, between all the different printers you guys are just you're gonna see the L801 and then you're gonna see the C6500 and it is just gonna blow you away how fast this thing prints it is nuts it is absolutely nuts but with that said all these packages here it has been a crazy crazy i mean my, my hair i'm like it's it's toast like i've been up all night all day we have been having that c6500 run 18 hours a day probably for like the last week uh trading off we'll come in the morning fire it up it will just run we'll change an ink cartridge later on during the day and it will run all night until about that time so depending on the job and the intricacy of how uh, the resolution how high of the resolution we need to print um, it's going to take longer slower clear it takes a lot longer uh, we want to when you print on clear with the uh, pigment ink the uh, resolution you want to bump it to the max because you really want to saturate it uh, with color because otherwise it will come out very light and the customer is not going to like that so why even print clear um, i think we're going to go away from doing clear just because we don't have white and there's a lot of jobs we have to turn down after somebody's purchased and say hey you know wherever it's white it's going to be clear and where somebody wants it to be clear and then they want like a white hat or a white clothing or something like that it's going to be clear clear so they're going to have a floating body you know what i mean so it's getting a little picky uh and we really don't have the time to do that so we're going to stick with our one material for now and uh just going from uh, uh pigment based inks to dye inks is just gonna pop the color like crazy like it is so much of a difference and uh yeah i, I just want to open it right now and get to it but 
I have some other stuff I really, really need to take care of on my desk that has been neglected for like a week and a half. Um, Got to make sure bills are paid and everything like that. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and dive in, do some uh, uh, videoing of me unboxing it, opening it, uh, and then I'll go ahead and have that running as soon as possible. And then in maybe a week, I'll go ahead and start diving into the L501, 502. I forget which one it is on there, um, but I'll go ahead and uh, open that and then kind of go from there and uh, yeah, show you guys some videos. So we have some awesome content coming up. Um, we are super, super busy. Uh, so my messaging back to you guys has definitely dwindled just a little bit, uh, but on average, you know, I'm probably doing like 20 messages a day. Uh, so it's not too bad. Uh, if I don't get to you that day when you message, I pretty much get to you the next day. Uh, but uh, anyways, like I said, you know, super excited that you guys are uh, watching. I hope you do enjoy the content to come. Um, thank you so much for all your support. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, you know, hit the notification bell. I've heard it really, really helps. And uh, you, some, most of the time you don't get notified. I have a video coming out unless you've hit that before. Uh, so some of the uh, cool things coming up are one new machine we're looking at adding. Now, I looked into laser. The laser that I want is somewhere in like the $350,000 range. So that is not going to be in uh, my future anytime soon. Um, you need to be like at $3 million to, to kind of justify that. And we're not there yet. We will be. We're, we're not there yet. Um, so what I'm either going to do is add maybe two or three of the DPR finishers or go with a rotometric style or rotary die style system. Um, with the rotary die, I really got to make sure I have the volume of those specific shapes. If it's just circles I'm doing, I don't know if I want to buy the rotary die just for the circles, although that is, uh, we have a lot of them. But if I can cut the cost in half and just get the DPR finishers, I may do that. Or I may go out and get the rotary die system. My, my thing is the, the fingers, you know, that's the only thing that is... <laughs> stepping back from that. I want it to be able to something that anybody who walks in the shop can go ahead and do. And coming from a, a manufacturing and milling side, uh, side of the business uh, in another shop, it is so easy to mess up or F up you know, your fingers. You could get hurt really bad, really fast. And this is a new technology that I have never used. With my mechanical mind, it looks dangerous. <laughs> you know, people pushing the button, feeding on the me uh, metal die. So it may be something that I only do have to step away. And I wanna make sure I don't have to step away from my desk or my uh, printing other obligations, uh, other obligations of printing just to be the one to load on that die. I don't want my mom doing it. I don't want my wife doing it. I don't want kids. I don't want someone new coming in here and doing it. Uh, I like keeping the shop as uh, family or small as possible while integrating automation. That is my key uh, goal, but you know, the safety of it is the big one. Uh, sometimes we have our kids here in the shop. I don't want them sticking the fingers in there. I already thought about building a cage around the back of the um, finisher unit that we have. That way uh, my daughter, you know, doesn't stick her finger in the um, nip rollers because that would be horrible. So uh, it's blocked off right now, but um, yeah, just things to think about when you get into new technology and you have a family around. Uh, with the laser system, it's not as bad, uh, you know, get a good ventilation system and uh, less mechanical pinch. I'm sure there's other things that could go wrong, but um, as far as the uh, rotary die, I'll have to look into it a little bit more. I might just get a unit next to us and keep the heavy equipment in that side because I would consider that a heavy piece of heavy equipment. Uh, from my point of view. But anyways, uh, thoughts, feedback uh, from you guys would always be very, very much appreciated. Um, the rotary die, if we get any more packed than what we are now though, definitely is gonna become a necessity, not really a want. Um, it's already crazy how we're able to pull out these uh, orders here with just the uh, little printer that we have and the DPR finisher. But like I said, we're going through one, two ink sometimes a day and uh, it's running 18 hours a day, solid. We're already behind about a week out on some of our labels and products and we let people know up front who are purchasing. Uh, so we, we still have a ton ton to catch up. Um, you know, each roll can vary from 
like uh, 3,000 labels, depending on size, all the way up to 10,000 labels. So uh, it's a lot. We don't typically do anything smaller than a, a two by two uh, circle or square. So it's quite a bit, you know, quite a bit of uh, uh, labels for us. New company, We've just been doing labels for like three months. So anyways, like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will catch you later.